Well, y'all thought you'll, you guys would never ever see one of these on the channel, but today is when it all changes. We have our first ThinkPad on the channel. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video, we'll be destroying this IBM ThinkPad that I just picked up last weekend for free from the VCF East swap meet. So basically, we were about to get going, and then there's a table there. The guy had four ThinkPads. One of them was a later Lenovo model. One of them, and then one of them was this IBM model. So I was like, hmm, what, what's your price on that? He was like, oh, you can take it for free. I was like, oh my goodness, that's amazing. And then from, that's the table where I got like that copy of Adobe, Adobe Photoshop Elements 9 from, as well as a bunch of other software. So this thing pad's actually well, quite well equipped. So these are the specs that it has. A 128 gigabyte SSD, which was upgraded afterward. Two gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, but we're gonna max that out at four gigs because I got a DIMM from another HP laptop that I have. I'm not sure about the processor, but it's some sort of a Core 2 Duo. The graphics, I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure if it's either if it has the Nvidia graphics or if it has the Intel GMA. I'm gonna add that later in the video. And then ultimately the OS is Windows 7 Professional. So in today's video, we're gonna get it cleaned up, upgraded, and we're gonna get it fixed up. So let's do that. So you can see here's my ThinkPad. I don't know why my phone decided just to enable the flash. But I do not the guy didn't give me a charger, but the good news is I have a universal laptop charger at home. And then it has the usual like Lenovo ThinkPad end. You know, like the yellow charger, like this one right here. Of course I have one. So we're just gonna get it plugged in and we're gonna start it up and I'm gonna show you guys what we have. So we got it plugged in, we're gonna hit power. So you can see she's firing up. ThinkPad, a product of Lenovo, Intel. So we're booting this thing up into Windows 7. Critical low battery error, we can, we can, it's on, however it's on the charge, so we're just gonna press escape to bypass that. But I think it's F2. So we're gonna try to get it to boot into Windows. So the charger wasn't fully plugged in. <clears throat> we're gonna get into Windows so I could show you what's going on. So it's running Windows 7 Professional, but it's currently registered to a domain. So we're just gonna close our ThinkPad and we're gonna start to get it fixed up. Disassembling the laptop to get to the RAM is a little different. So what we need to do is we're gonna remove two screws on the on the on the on the bottom of the laptop. The first one is right here. We're just gonna remove it. Okay, it's supposed to pop out just like that. Some of them are pretty deep inside, but like it, it takes a little patience to do so. Yep, that one pulls out just like that. And then you're gonna remove another screw by the hard drive access compartment. Not the one holding the hard drive bay in, but then the one right next to it. So you're just gonna remove that. Just like that. We were basically gonna have full access to the laptop's RAM area. That, it's kind of odd like how like the ThinkPad, like how you have to remove it like that, but some of these screws you have to like like put it on, like on the underside to do so. So we're gonna use the screen latch and get under the palm rest. And then what makes this ThinkPad very special is it's the last one with the IBM logo. So we're gonna pop our stick of DDR2 in there. So now we're here in the BIOS and then we have basically have our system specs. So we have a Core 2 Duo T7100 at, at 1 at 1.8 gigahertz. We're gonna be installing a 64-bit OS now. So let's pop a totally genuine Windows 7 DVD into the DVD drive on this thing. Got that in there. We're just gonna real like just we're gonna tilt the screen again backward. So we're just gonna select the DVD CDRW, and I'm, I'm guessing it's just gonna load into my win, uh, Windows install. We're gonna press the space key. Windows 7, so that's good. We're just gonna click install now, and we're gonna get into setup. So 
So the great news is that the setup has finally finished, but we're not done setting up the computer yet because we gotta install drivers, do some quick tests and all that stuff. And yes, I did use optical media because you know how Brinius loves saying, good, optical media bad. I decided to use optical media myself. So let's just type in my name. Windows is finalizing your settings. So we're just heading to the Windows desktop. You know, I think I, I didn't even need to install the drivers because it like had the recovery partition, which had all the drivers on it. I was considering wiping it out, but I didn't. But this isn't gonna be like my main laptop or anything. This is kind of like my Windows machine. Not like for any like main like main use or anything, but this is just so that I have a I have a Windows machine around the house, which is always good. So we're gonna see like does this even have like the AMD GPU or something? Lenovo seven seven five six eight CTO, which is the model of, of laptop we're using. We got four gigs of DDR two, Intel Core two Duo T seventy one hundred. Dual core at 1.8 gigahertz, which is good for running Windows 7, but not good like for running Windows 10. So we're just gonna display. I'm not sure if this has the oh it has the has the Intel integrated graphics, which is good, which is good because I know the Intel like the Nvidia graphics are cursed, kind of like the cursed graphics. So now, since we have our restoration completely finished, the real question is, what can this computer exactly be used for? in 2025. I'm here to show you guys what exactly it can do now. Spoiler alert, it actually can do a lot more than you think. So YouTube playback is absolutely possible. You have some test footage of PBS Kids funding credits. And look, it plays nice and smoothly at 1080p. So this is just a test of like a normal video at HD and it runs quite well. And then, then 720p also runs well. Except ju it just makes the fan run. So let's test with some 720p footage. So the speakers sound very good, which is which is very good, especially for a 2007 laptop. So you can press the escape key, and then that that that's very good that it can still run. So now let's test the Luke Miani video. Slightly different, but that's but it's still a good it's still good content. And then yep, it plays very. Plays nice and smoothly. No, smoothly. Now let's test some basic web browsing. We have dingusland.fun, which is a, a very media-rich website. Let's look at the Frank page. So it runs quite well. And then this is like a website with like media and audio. So you, it scrolls nice and well, and you can look at the pictures while listening to the audio like usual. So it's good for like video playback and web browsing. Now, how about like just Googling things? Oh yes, it can do that. You you can just browse Google, which is like what most people do with these computers. So I basically said, so basically this proves that the Lenovo slash IBM T61 is usable for web essentials. Now, how about document editing? Well, yes, you can edit documents. Microsoft Word up to Word, like Microsoft Word and the whole Office suite up to Office 2016 run on here. A little bit older, but not fully out of date. Also, also, Google Docs runs in the web, so it's good to do some homework. Now, finally, how about email and, and business work? Well, Excel runs on here. Mozilla Thunderbird is a great email client, as well as Gmail. I can't show you guys my inbox right now because there's a bunch of like personal stuff on there. So, that's very good. And I want to show you guys something pretty cool. If you press function and the function key and the page up key, it turns on the think light, which is basically... Think the ThinkPad alternative to a backlit keyboard. So that's pretty cool. So it's good like if you're traveling. But I would not recommend this laptop for like content creators. Yes, you can co create content on here via like Canva because you know why? It's a web app. And then finally, the, here's some apps that work on here. All these are like either out of, like slightly out of date or modern. Office up to Office 2016. Google Chrome, iTunes, Google Chrome, I believe is Chrome 119 or something, Firefox ESR, Thunderbird ESR, VLC Media Player, Make MKV for, say, DVD ripping, other apps that work on here that are mo like modern ish, I believe include the Lenovo ThinkVantage suite, as well as, as well as most FOSS programs for Windows work well. 
like example, like as I said, Thunderbird and Firefox and VLC and make MKV. So all those run well. The virtual machines you can go with, say, in a slightly older version of, the, of VMware, like for Windows 7, so that runs well. So with that, thank you so much for watching this restoration challenge, the Lenovo slash IBM T61 ThinkPad. Please like, watch, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.